Hi everyone, I'm popping on here to chat with you about my surrogacy journey. So who am I? I'm, uh, I'm Kat and I um, am a surrogate, a very proud surrogate with Proud Fertility, a Canadian agency run by um, a really awesome guy, Nathan Chan. Hi Nathan! Um, I just wanted to um, share with you a little bit about my journey because I'm 38 weeks and when I first started it was kind of cool to talk to surrogates who had either already finished their journey or who were further along than than I was just to hear their experience so um, this is a video for anyone out there who's um, a current surrogate maybe earlier in their journey or someone who's thinking about it I just want to share with you what my journey has been like and to answer some of the common questions that I've gotten so far. Um, so the first one is pretty basic and pretty much the most common question that I get is why did you become a surrogate? Uh, so that was probably the, um, it's a very personal question and it's unique for everybody. Everyone has their reasons, but for me, I wanted to help someone fulfill their family dream and uh, it just happened that everything lined up beautifully, the timing, the uh, family that I decided to help and it all worked out uh, really smoothly. Um, but the main motivation was that I really, really enjoy being pregnant. I know there's ups and downs and you know there's uncomfortable periods and there our challenges throughout pregnancy but I really did enjoy being pregnant and I I'm done having my family so I wanted to help somebody have that experience of having a child of their own and a little selfish part of me wanted to be pregnant one more time so it worked out well so that was pretty much it um, who did I decide to help so I, I get that a lot like oh do you know the person or the people that you're doing this for and the, the answer is no, not initially. It was done through the, the agency, Proud Fertility. Um, and I got matched with a single dad by choice. Um, and I wanted to help someone who probably would have a really challenging time um, finding a way to, to have a child. Um, someone who, you know, it's not like the common, you know, family so he is um, a really awesome guy hi thanks for joining um, and he is just so excited to have this baby and I'm really really looking forward to having them meet and just seeing the look on his face and just watching them start their bonding and everything I'm really excited for that um, so another one is um, I often get asked oh I didn't know you were pregnant because I kind of, it's not that I wanted to keep it a secret, but I did keep it kind of close, you know, just my, my immediate circle of friends and family, only because I didn't want a whole bunch of added stress and a whole bunch of um, comments and things like that earlier on. I wanted to really just focus on getting, yes, I will show you my belly, just a second. Um, I wanted to just keep it kind of like, sacred for a little while. So I have started feeling comfortable going a little more public on my social media and everything pretty late in the pregnancy. I think I was well into the second trimester when I finally kind of came out and said, guess what, I'm pregnant, um, to like the general public or like, you know, my general circle. Um, and I mean, again, that's a personal thing. You might feel comfortable doing that right from the get-go and that's cool. Everyone is uh, you know allowed to do this journey the way that they feel is best um, but I just encourage you to know how you feel and know what is important to you and who are your main supporters and just be aware that not everybody will support this um, you might have some naysayers or some people who might not understand and that's fine it's not about them it's about you and um, if you know that ahead of time, then you can kind of protect your your space a little bit. Okay, so let's see, what was the next question? How has the pregnancy been? 
Well, initially it was, it went from being really good, a little morning sickness and, and that, to having a little bit of a complication. I had some pretty heavy bleeding in the early second trimester, and then I had to be monitored for that, went on bed rest for a little bit. Thankfully that all resolved and was fine, and now we're back to being uh, really good. And now that I'm at the very end, I'm just getting really tired. So not sleeping, but that's normal at this point. But yeah, so I'm pretty ready to have this little this little boy and um, and have him go home to his family. Um, there definitely have been highs and lows, but I have been able to maintain kind of my sanity and my well-being. And I think that having tools available like support, maybe a coach or I, I like to meditate and do yoga. That's my like way that I ground and that has been a lifesaver. Um, I take lots of baths and try to get lots of sleep, but having a nice um, supportive network is really, really important. Um, have you gotten to meet your intended parent? Yes, I've met, I met him in November. He came to visit me for the um, 20 week anatomy scan and that was really awesome. So he was here for that. And he just arrived today. So 38 weeks and two days and he's here. So now really this baby can come anytime. Like there's no more, you know, chance that he'll miss the birth. Everything's lined up really well. So we're really excited. We, um, he came to my prenatal appointment today and that was really cool. He got to meet the, uh, the midwife and everything. So everyone's ready now um <clears throat> so the next step is what are we going to do you know for the labor so the plan is that we'll i i'll be laboring i have a doula um i'll be at the hospital and he'll you know if he's comfortable um watching the baby being born that's awesome which i'm sure he will be he's pretty excited about that but um, I think for like the early part of labor, I just like to be in my own zone. I have four kids of my own, so I kind of know how I'm gonna feel. Um, and uh, I think I just need a little bit of privacy and then he's, he's welcome to join me for the big event. Um, and uh, I've gotten a few questions about, you know, what's, what do you think the postpartum period will be like? What after the baby comes? And thankfully, I was able to chat at um, a surrogate retreat with some um, women who had finished their surrogacy journey, and their experience really taught me or gave me some insight about how to prepare for that. So I have a postpartum doula who's going to come and, and just help with my kids, maybe help me, you know, depending on how the birth goes and everything, I may or may not need um, physical support. Um, you know, with like small household tasks and things like that. But it would be awesome if, um, you know, if you're local and you know me and you want to bring me a coffee sometime or a tea, I would love visitors. I think even though I'm not bringing home a baby, because you know when you have a baby, everyone wants to come and visit to see the baby, but that's not really going to be the case with me. I'm just going to be here home, kind of back to my normal life which is fine and, I, and I'm prepared for that, but I think some emotional support uh, will be nice. Um, just to have people say, hey, you know, how are you doing? That kind of thing. So, um, so yeah, I've, I've told all my friends that they're welcome to call or pop by and, um, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. My mom's coming to visit as well, so that's nice. She'll be helping with dinners and, and making like meals and stuff like that. Um, so I guess I just want to finish off. Oh, I, I promised I would show you how big I was. All right, let's see if we can get this in. Uh, there's the belly. 38 weeks. Little boy. My arms aren't long enough, but hopefully you can see. Um, so I just wanted to finish off by, um, giving you... If there's anybody out there who's thinking about becoming a surrogate or already on a surrogate journey that's earlier on, some words of encouragement are, you know, you're doing something amazing. This is such a special thing to do. And um, don't hesitate to reach out to other surrogates. 
um, if you need to chat or if um, I know Proud Fertility has like a, a coaching program for support. So um, if you need to celebrate something or vent about something or ask questions about a specific thing on the journey, it's okay to, to reach out for support, for help. And the most important thing is take care of yourself, love yourself, and just uh, pamper yourself as much as you can because you're doing something amazing and you just deserve to uh, enjoy the journey as well. Um, I see some questions here. Um, let's see if we can answer them. How are your children doing with this decision? Oh, they have been really awesome. Um, they've known from the very beginning. I told them even before I was pregnant what, what was going to happen and how it was all gonna go and they've been really kind of sweet like they they know the baby's in there and they tap the belly and they talk to the baby but they know at the end of the day baby's going home to his dad and um, and they're they're they seem okay with it um, now I might do another live video when all is all is said and done to see how the actual transition went um, but yeah, that could, that could be another fun video to do. Um, I'm going to scroll up to see if I missed anything. I think I got all the questions. Thank you for watching. Um, and um, yeah. Oh, hi. Another proud surrogate. Hello. Lindsay, nice to see you. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I don't want to make this awkward and keep it going, but feel free to pop any questions in the comments. I'll, um, I'll pop in and, and if there's questions down the road, I will answer them. Well, I hope everyone has a good night and thank you, Nathan, for encouraging me to do this. I'm kind of shy on video sometimes, but this was actually pretty fun and pretty easy. All right, everyone. See you later. Wish me luck. Okay. Bye.